Hello everyone, my name is Deborah Berevicius and I'm a lead scientist in quantum computing at VTT. You are watching our video series, The Quantum Advantage. This episode is about quantum computing and the pharmaceutical industry. Welcome. In a previous episode, I introduced to you Helmi, our VTT quantum computer. And we talked about how it works and what makes quantum computing unique. In this episode, we'll be looking at how quantum computing can create exciting new opportunities for companies in the pharmaceutical industry. Why? Because pharma and quantum computing are a natural fit. The central activity of the pharmaceutical industry is to identify molecules that can cure diseases. These molecules, whether they're tiny like penicillin or relatively large like antibodies and other proteins, all follow the same rules, which are the laws of quantum mechanics. Since the laws of quantum mechanics also govern how quantum computers behave, these computers should be able to predict and simulate the properties of many drug molecule candidates better than any classical computer can. Let's consider a small molecule that's a potential anti-cancer drug. This molecule works by binding to a protein on a cancer cell and prevents the cell from growing and dividing. To figure out how well the molecule binds to the target on the cancer cell, ideally we would like to simulate the whole process using quantum mechanics. Today's classical computers, that's just not computationally feasible. As a result, you have to make some compromises in how accurately you simulate different parts of the binding process. These compromises can affect the accuracy of your prediction regarding how effective the small molecule will be as an anti-cancer drug. By carrying out simulations based on the laws of quantum mechanics, quantum computers can help improve the predictions about the effectiveness of drug candidates. In addition to accelerating the discovery phase of new drugs, there are other steps in the R&D process where quantum computers can lead to improvements. For example, once a leading drug candidate is found that is effective in acting upon its target, other properties of this leading candidate, such as its solubility and its absorption, still must be optimized in order for the drug to be delivered and metabolized in the human body. Quantum computers can implement machine learning techniques to help carry out this optimization process, and they can do so more effectively than any classical computer ever can. The research and development pipeline for pharmaceutical drugs is full of optimization steps. Besides optimizing the mechanism of action of the drug, you also optimize its safety profile, solubility, its absorption, dosing, and so on. Much of this optimization takes place through brute force trial and error, involving lots of experiments, which is expensive and requires a long time. Classical machine learning techniques are already being used to tackle some of the optimization problems. Quantum computers, with their promise of even better optimization capabilities, will be an exciting step forward in streamlining the R&D pipeline. Due to the ability to carry out quantum mechanical simulations and to solve optimization problems, quantum computers are going to help reduce the large cost and long timescales of the R&D process in pharma. This is going to benefit both the companies and their customers. Thank you for watching this episode of The Quantum Advantage. Make sure you click and follow us, and I look forward to seeing you next time.